Every minute that passes and every checkpoint I complete, this obby keeps getting creepier. But that's not gonna stop me. I'm determined to find out the two secret endings to this game. And if you goats know of any other creepy games we should play in Roblox, comment them down below and we'll check them out in the next video. Now let's do this. Hey, this game doesn't look so scary. It actually looks kind of cute and friendly. It's called Obby. And there are zero players on it right now. And that might be because it's way too scary. Rumor has it, it looks all innocent. But every second that I'm in here, things get more and more cursed. Whatever, I'm not afraid. Let's get up. I really slipped and fell on the first jump, didn't I? Whatever, let's get a move on here. Me and my creepy hands. Let's just keep on moving and grooving before this sun gets sad and looks at me with its special eyes. Anyways, these flowers are kind of normal so far. Although I'm not so sure I could trust them. Is the smile even sincere or is it forced? It low-key looks creepy. I ain't gonna cap. Hello? How are you doing, little sunflowers? Is everything chill and cool here? Probably not. These things look like the Joker. Yep, they look a little bit evil. Kind of like, let's put a smile on that face. And then this worm is mad sus. Yo, chill. Whatever, let's just keep going. So far, the sun looks normal. I don't think there's anything too cooked yet. Now I'm jumping on big red mouth balls. Ew, so weird. I just hope these things don't come to life and try and eat me. That would be awful. I just need them to be cool and need them to be chill. Keep getting the checkpoints. Now, before I do this next checkpoint through the lily pads, I got a bad feeling that this giant sun is staring at me. I think no matter where I go, it's turning to face me. Hold on, let me confirm it. Go a little further backwards. Yeah, it's definitely looking at me. Not good, not good. I just gotta take my weird dangly arms and get out of this place alive, please. Every second that I'm here, things are getting worse. Just keep moving. Everything's gonna be cool as long as I get out of here alive. Make the jump. I wonder if I could just walk on this water. It doesn't even look that dangerous. Oh no, I am dead. Dang it. I think I can hop across the lily pads though. Yeah, let's take some shortcuts. We'll go from there to there and then we're hopping the lilies. Let's go, parkour champion. And we're back on these giant mouth balls and the sun is staring me down a bit more ominously. I don't like it. And what's up with this flower? It's not smiling anymore. Or is that a giant mustache with a double chin? Can't tell. But something here is not right. Whatever. Let's just walk across. It did say walk, not to jump. Oh, we're fine. I can jump all I want. Let's go. In fact, I'm gonna sprint. Just gotta get across this giant dirt bridge and then everything should be fine. Yeah. Everything should be fine. Why did it just turn dark? Oh no, where am I? I lost sight of the bridge for a moment. It is pitch black. I can't see a thing. The giant sun, I don't even see it. I can only see moonlight now. Whatever, let's just keep going. I'm sure everything's gonna be okay. Every minute that I'm here, every second that ticks down, I got a bad feeling things are gonna get more and more creepy. But so far, I'm okay. I just hope I'm going the right way. I have no idea which direction I'm going on this bridge. But it seems to be okay so far. This has to be the right way. Hello, creepy flowers. Sun guardian. Oh, there he is. Oh, wait, he's gone again. Dang it. Which way am I going? I'm so lost. This is so weird. And why do I have to have these weird puppet wooden hands? Uh, what is going on? Why is there a little crying guy that looks like me? What do I do? Oh, I control him. Uh, this is kind of creepy. Do I need to pick this up? Whatever this thing is? I don't think so. Uh, I'm not sure if I should try and sit on my computer chair. No, I guess I just need to escape this room. We'll go down. Why is the voice so creepy? Oh, no. No, no, no. I don't want to fall apart. Why is this turning more red? I don't want to fall apart. Oh, this is cursed. No, 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 no. Chill, chill, chill. Stop repeating yourself. What are these sound effects? It's getting creepier. No, let me out. What the heck? It just kicked me from the experience. You'll fall apart too. Bro, that was creepy. That can't be all this is though. Okay, I refuse to believe that that was the only ending. I'm back here on the dirt bridge and I'm just gonna sprint the whole way forwards. No funny business. Cause you can see there's something over there. But what is it? I have to find out. So I'll stop at nothing. Full throttle. I don't care how dark or creepy it gets. I'm not letting go of the W key. I'm hearing something. There's some monster groaning near me. It's really weird. Sounds like he's trying to talk through a tin can. That's kind of what it sounds like. I just hope I get the second ending. No weird minigame. Just get me across the bridge and I want to see what's over here. We're getting closer 
closer now. Much, much closer. I can taste it. I can feel it. It's in my bones and it's gonna be cursed. It's gonna be worth it. Trust me. Bruh, it's been like five years. How long is this bridge? Oh, I heard something and I see something. It's a house. It says don't look. Okay, I won't look. I won't look. I won't do it. Okay, I gotta look. Oh wait, it's gone. <laughs> okay, that was cursed. There is definitely something back here. Hey, the music's getting creepier. I just heard like a clock tick. Tick tock, tick tock. Yes, progress. I must be getting closer to the objective and I'm not afraid. Okay, I'm actually petrified, which is a much deeper emotion than simply being afraid, which we're almost there. I can feel at the edge of the bridge. Uh, I'll just keep walking then. Whoa, what is this well? Looks like there's a little toad in there and there's a creepy house. Hello, what happened here? Can I read this book? No, oh, this is cursed. Belleville, news for the week. Woman found deceased on the train tracks. Oh no, somebody died. -ed. Get this off my screen. I don't want to read it right now. Get me out of here, dude. Am I stuck? Oh no, I think I'm trapped here. I got a bad feeling about this. I just want to leave. Oh, I thought something was outside of the window there, but it's just my arm. <laughs> oh, that was weird. Wait, I'm boarded up. No. Oh, wait, this is the door. That is the wall. This is the door. We're good. We're good. We're chill. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. There's another building here. Let's check it out, shall we? Hello? Open up. No, can't. There's some disgusting sus sandwich here. And old croissants. Well, I'll check out this house. It's got a mushroom growing out of it. A little bit moldy. A little bit musty. And a weird, creepy drawing. Who's this guy with the red eyeballs? I have a bad feeling this stick figure here exploring it is me. Well, let's give it a closer look. Uh, that monster does not look friendly. Oh, no. Is everything okay in here? Just a sleeping bag. So far, so good. I'm not dead. What else is over here? There has to be more to this. Ah! I fell out of the world! Now what? What's going on? Uh, I'm playing the game during the night now? This can't be good. I feel like it's gonna be weirder. Is something else happening? I can't tell yet. I'm gonna complete the obby at night and see if the world has changed at all. The worm is still weird. The mouth balls are still here. The moon is still shining. Nothing too different so far. But why would it send me all the way back here? There's gotta be some more lore to this. Oh, I slipped. So far, everything seems the same. No, I got this stupid game again. I need to find the key. Find the key. Find the key. Find the key. I don't want to get stuck here for eternity. Come on. It's gotta be a key. Maybe if I just exit really fast. Let me go. 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 Let me leave. Oh no. I got a bad feeling about this. I can't find the escape in time. Maybe if I hide. No. That's it, goats. That's the entire game. I found both endings and it's so cursed. So there's no answers. The game leaves you on a cliffhanger. Confused and scared and alone in the world and then it kicks you. Yep. GG. Well, I tried my best. I found two endings and they're both creepy. My goal is very simple. To watch the brand new Roblox superhero movie. But my dad won't let me. He's making me do all sorts of chores. And if after this he still doesn't let me watch the movie, I might have to kill him. In Roblox, of course. I'm finally home. Wait, why am I bald? I can't wait to watch this new superhero movie. Or scroll on TikTok for the next few hours. Oh, I just really look forward to some screen time. I think I've watched so much screen time, though. And I'm starting to go bald. Ah, whatever. It doesn't matter. Right now, I first need to change my clothes. But where do I go and do that? Do I go do it in my own room? Yeah, I guess it makes sense. I gotta put on my pajamas, get cozy, and then watch some movies. Yep, I ain't using the small screen. Today, I'm using the big screen. How do I turn on the big screen? Trying to turn on the TV as we speak. Let me turn it on! Ooh, new TVs could be so complicated. Is there something I'm missing here? Oh, yeah, I have my own TV. That makes a lot more sense. I have my own TV in the world's most uncomfortable chair. I need a couch or something to really enjoy TV. But actually, I'll just make it do. Oh, it's beautiful. But first, I gotta take a bath. Yep, I put on my pajamas to take a bath. That makes absolutely no sense. Who does that? I'll tell you who does that. Nobody! Nobody does that. I'm taking a bath, and it might overflow. Psych, I got it up just perfectly. And I bathed in my pajamas. What is wrong with me? Either way, it's time for me to watch the big screen. Oh, screen time sure is great. I love flooding my brain with information and rotting it slowly. Bro, Movies Presents Superhero. The movie, what is this? Uh-oh, is that my dad? I think he heard me turn on the TV. What is this sound? It better not be the TV. Uh, I think I'm cooked, boys. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. I'm just watching this, uh, this, um, this movie. Nope. You can't watch it until you do them chores. What? I mean, what chores? Your daily chores. Now go start by taking out the trash. All right, I'll do it, Dad. Man, you are a large person. I guess I'm a kid, so that kind of makes sense. Well, I better take out the trash. Give me this. And there we go. Now, Father, please allow me to have some screen time. I'm done taking out the trash. Can I please watch my movie now? Nah, go mow. 
mop the floor now. I guess it makes sense. I did make these puddles everywhere. And someone's got to clean it up. Just got to figure out where the mop is. Is this it? There we go. Found the mop. Cleaning up the puddles I left. Yeah, I was really thirsty and I spilt most of the water on the floor. Don't ask me how I did it. There we go. How about now? Can I please watch my movie? Mm, nah. You still need to plunge the toilet. Fine. Plunging my toilet now. I'm trying to plunge it at least. Uh, will you let me plunge the toilet? I have the plunger in my hand. Let me plunge it. What is this? Let me plunge the toilet. Is there another toilet I'm supposed to plunge? Do I not even know how to plunge? What is going on? Pretty sure you need to use the plunger, stick it in the toilet, and that's how it's done. But it's not working. Am I not understanding something here? All right, I had to look up a video on how to plunge the toilet. Super hard. You gotta jump up here to interact with it. I don't know why they did this, but I got it. I finally figured out how to plunge a toilet. Now, please let me use my screen. Now I'm done plunging the toilet. After I thought about it. Nah, you can go after you bring me a cup of tea. <sighs> Whatever. At least it's not that hard. Just gotta brew him up a nice cup of tea. Give me this. I've just gotta give my tea to dad. Here you go. Like you wanted it. Hmm, so, hmm. About you watching it. Maybe after you bring me some food now. I really hope this is the last thing, because I'm starting to lose my cool now. Dude, I'm wearing the pizza as a hat. Why has nobody done this before? That's a cool hat design. Maybe it'll even be on our merch store sometime. You should totally go check out our merch store. Well, bon appetit. Here's your pizza. Served hot and cheesy. Oh, yeah. So cheesy. So, I made my decision to let you watch it. Yeah! Wait, what? I didn't even get to watch the movie. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm so angry. I'm gonna explode my house. Well, now that I've got the main ending done, I think it's time I get some alternate endings. So, let's talk to this guy out here. Who are you? I'm the devil. Uh, okay. I see you're excited to watch a movie. And I can make your dad disappear. Nah, bye. Since you declined my offer, I'm turning this into an ending. Devil ending. Bro, did this red guy just trigger the ending event? That was so stupid. I was really hoping for something cool. Are there any other endings I could do? There's this trophy out here. I wanted to see what this is. One million. Strange trophy. What if I check it? What is this? And what is it for? Oh, wait. This game hit a million visits? Is that really an ending? One million ending. Thank you guys for the support. And special thanks to Melon. Oh, you know what? That's a pretty wholesome ending. I've also got to talk to this guy out here. Wait, is that myself? What am I doing here? I'm not broke. Actually, maybe I am broke. That's so funny. They put my own avatar there begging me for Robux. Summon Billy's mom. Cut the electricity. Who's Billy's mom? I kind of want to see what this is. Oh, no. Our house is about to get crushed. Billy's mom? I didn't know she was this big. I'm not even saying that in an insulting way. She's huge. Billy's mom ending. Well, I know there's still a few more endings that we can get. For this one, I've got to put on my pajamas. And I've got to follow it. No, actually, I don't turn on the TV. What I've got to do, go in here and check this out. There's my dad. Oh, I thought there was supposed to be an ending here. Hold on. Let me turn on the TV first. I also got to take my bath right here. Get all nice and clean in my clothes. Because for some reason, that's how I take a bath. And then check this out. There it is. The mog ending. I'm going to mog on my dad. What's going to happen? This is the ultimate ending. Let me mog my dad. Who can stop me? Oh, no. It's happening. I'm mogging him. I'm mogging him. Dad, I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. I turned him into a stone face. And then the house exploded again. Man, why does the house always explode? The only thing that should be exploding is that subscriber count. Press the subscribe button right now. Today in Roblox, I have no choice but to become an NPC or die. If I can survive from Sheriff Melon and complete my tasks, I'll survive this game. And it's all about acting sus like a bot to fool the sheriffs. So as long as they think I'm an AI NPC, I should be able to get away with completing my challenges. And can you complete the subscribe button challenge? New viewers who press the subscribe button will get goaded. Shani, we're criminals, which means we have to pretend to be NPCs. That's a brilliant plan. And people know that we're criminals too, so we've got to be extra sneaky about this. I can see the sheriffs trying to shoot people already. I thought this was you for a second, but then I realized there's a bunch of fake melons and sunnies. Yep. And one of our teammates just got shot. Okay. We have to figure out how to complete our tasks without getting busted. Sonny, people are getting busted left and right. How exactly do we do the tasks? This guy's punching a diving board. How do you do that? Make sure you go up to the right places, Sonny. They're highlighted, and then you can go up and interact with them. I am up to one right now. 
now. Nothing's happening. Sorry, right, you actually have to go get your target. There's a giant target on what you have to do. Oh, yep. That would make a lot more sense. How do I walk slow? Melon, I'm only sprinting. Melon? Oh, just press shift. I am, but I'm still sprinting. Oh, there we go. I'm walking. Kind of have to hold it for a split second. It's kind of weird. I am the ultimate NPC. No one shall suspect me. Also, I could probably just see where the sheriffs are and ignore them. Yeah, you probably could do that. There's no sheriffs near me right now, so I should use this opportunity to go break these boxes. I just saw a sheriff shoot a melon! That was so sad. Sonny, I'm punching these boxes as we speak. I've got to take them out. There we go. I did it. Another task successfully completed. Nice work, melon. I'm trying to find my next one, and I see an exclamation point. I'll head that way, but I'll make sure I look like an NPC as I walk. Yeah, you don't want the sheriff suspecting you. Gotta go slow and steady. Slow and steady. And I don't see a sheriff looking at me. Sprint! Wait, my stuff just changed. Hey, yo, chill. I just got flopped. Whoa, what the heck? Sonny, I saw you do that. Can you guess which melon I am? Uh, the one in the water? Uh, how'd you know? Was it that obvious? No, I just got lucky because you saw me go flying on diving board. I've got to do it now. Well, he's not looking. Oh, no. I think he's going to see me. I'm clutching it, though. I held it down. I'm an actual boss. And we did it. The criminals won. Get wrecked. Let's go. I'm dancing on this sheriff. Man, Sonny, we're really good at being NPCs. Yeah, it's awesome. Melon, it's time to complete our tasks. Yes. Right now, I need to cut stage curtain rope. But I've got to make sure I go ultra sneaky. And I've got to do a little bit of cooking. Time to hit the stovetop. Oh, hey, Melon, is this you? Uh, I'm by the backstage. I'm cutting the rope as we speak. Yes. Yes. Check this out. I did it. The task is completed. I have two seconds to go away from it. Nice. Oh, that's how it works. You got to run away from it? I think it gives the sheriffs an alert. And then I'll hide right next to my task. I'm no coward. That's crazy, Sonny. Oh, no. He for sure suspects me. I got to make a move. Sprint. Oh, wait. No, I'm just going to do the lantern thing. I don't even care. Oh, yeah. Beast mode. Now, what's my next task? I'm not afraid of anyone. For my next task, I need to rummage through 206 clothes. Here we go. Uh, I just blew my cover. I got blasted. Dang it. Oh, that was so unlucky. I exited a room and the sheriff was right there as I was sprinting. That's really unlucky, Sonny. What the heck? How'd he know it was me? He just randomly shot me. Dang it, Sonny. We got wrecked this round as NPCs. Okay, and our brothers pull through. Oh, wait. I think all the NPCs died. Bro, these sheriffs cleaned up. We had three more tasks to do. We could have won it. Did they kill all the NPCs? I'm confused. Yeah, I can only spectate the two sheriffs. But there's still someone completing tasks. There's only one left to do. Yes. We have one criminal. 58146. I think I know who it is. I think it's the guy both the sheriffs just passed. Yep. And this sheriff. No. Oh, he did die. Nice. One of the sheriffs died. And he did it. He completed them all. Let's go. That's the homie. Melon, I hope on the next round I'm the sheriff. I hope so too. Then that would be the ultimate team up. We could take out all the NPCs. Sonny, I'm the sheriff. Oh, uh, me too. Totally. I'm the sheriff. Yeah. No, you're not. Which means I get to kill you. Oh, this is going to be fun. Yeah, right. As if you could kill me. All right. That looks like some proper NPC movement, I think. Can an NPC just do their task in front of me? Is that how it works? NPCs can just hustle, bro. They don't care. Oh, these sheriffs are nuts. Yeah, because I'm the sheriff, Sonny. Whatever you do, don't shoot the Sonny that's next to you. You don't know if there's a Sonny next to me. You're right, I don't. Um, I might have just seen someone do something very sus. No, I'm not getting an alert from a task. Dang it, I'm getting alert from tasks everywhere. Good, good. The criminals shall get away with it, and you just shot an innocent. Dang it, I really thought that one was you. Nah, bruh. I could just buy an extra three lives, but I won't, because that's cheating. Stop! Get off my screen! I don't want to buy an extra three lives! Dude, you are really good at the video game. Sonny, I don't think I have a choice. I think I have to buy an extra three lives. All right, no, I got away from it. No, stop it. <laughs> I will say walking by you is the funniest thing. I have to buy an extra three lives. I, I literally can't. Um, Is that a Sonny doing the task right in there? Mela, don't shoot, please. Please spare me. No, that's not you. Psych, it is you. Dot. Dang it, it was an innocent. <laughs> of course it was an innocent. I 
wouldn't do a task anywhere near you. That task just got completed, though. I'm so confused. It was a fake completion. I'm so lost right now. I don't understand. Melon, I'll give you a clue. I'm hiding inside of one of those tall people's bodies. Oh, no. I gotta shoot. I actually got somebody. Let's go. Nice one, bro. But it's too late. Tasks completed. Dang it. Dude, this is so hard as the sheriff. No cap. Whatever, Sonny. If you're the sheriff in the next round, I'll show you what it's like. What? A special round? What's going on here? Rush. What does that mean? There's less time everywhere. You have to rush to complete your tasks. Or does it actually help you complete them faster? I don't know, Sonny. But I do know that I'm the sheriff once again. Same here. Sonny and Melon the sheriffs. Let's go. We've got to take out these NPCs, though, Sonny. Yeah, we do, bucko. Yeah, we do. And we will. Let's look for someone doing something a little bit sus. I'm keeping my eyes on this one. Uh, Sonny? Yes! I got one of them already! Nice work! I'm about to get one, too. Where are they? Ah, oh, I messed up. The NPCs do fake tasks. It's really annoying. I know. That's why it's so hard to tell. Gotta be careful. I'm gonna keep my eyes on a swivel here. I have a feeling it's this guy right here. Dang it, I shot an innocent. Hmm. What tasks are almost complete? Not many, Melon. Where was it? Where did that happen? A mailbox right in front of me. Look, I'll look on the left side. You look on the right. This one! Got him! No way, you mad genius. Two criminals left, Melon. We got this. Uh-oh. Sonny, they're getting dangerously close to finishing their tasks. Oh, I see who it was. And he thinks he's getting away. I'm gonna hit him with the clipper tin. Oh, you're coming back, are you? And now he's running! Clipped him! Okay, where's the next task? This is gonna be tough. They're gonna probably sprint. Oh, they're done for. They're done for. There's not many people it could be. I think it's this one! I got him! I'm the goat! Let's go! I was looking at those two turtles. I wasn't sure which one to shoot. Melon, I did it flawlessly. I didn't take any damage. You are good at this job, Sonny. I only took out one criminal, and I lost a heart. It's because I was born to be the sheriff. Look at us, Melon. Sonny and Melon, the dominant forces of the lobby. Because we're not NPCs. We're way smarter than that. And you know what else is super duper smart? Pressing the like button and making Making sure you're subscribed to our channel. Press that sub button now. Today, Sunny and I are playing a game in Roblox that gets progressively creepier. Every 30 seconds, the lights turn off, triggering a random creepy event. It could be as harmless as vines growing, but it also could be as harmful as this teddy bear that kills you if you look away. Stick around if you can. Things are gonna get really, really spooky. Sunny, pretty much every single time the lights go off, something random and crazy is gonna happen. Melon, that's a bit concerning, bro. I don't like playing in the dark. Our goal is to survive as long as we can. This game, in theory, can be endless. Yeah, it's okay. We've begun the night. And now we must find out what's happening. Uh, Melon, can I buy this epic chair? It's a limited time offer. You have enough money? I just collected $75. Dang it, brother. Yeah. Ooh, I found some more money. Give me that. 75 more bucks. Oh, might as well get rich in this game mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So far, this seems pretty chill. Nothing creepy at all. Except this painting. That's pretty creepy. Yeah, how how about these wads of- Oh, it's dark! What's happening? What's happening? Sonny, I don't know. Where are you? Where are you, Sonny? I got my flashlight on. I was trying to come grab this cash. There we go. Oh, uh, what is that? Why is there something red going on in the kitchen? Let me see. Oh, it's just a laptop, bro. It's just a laptop. Let's communicate with it. Hello? Turn that off. Okay. The lights came on. That wasn't too bad. The laptop just freaked out a little bit. And Melon, this portrait looks different. There's a monster hiding behind this tree. I don't remember that before. No, it, it was definitely there the whole time. Okay, fine. What about this trap door? Can we open this up and go into the basement? Where are you? I'm in the TV room. There are plenty of secrets, Sonny, so I'm sure there's a way to do it. Might as well spend our time with the lights on, looking for a key. I'm with you, broski. Maybe it's in the bathroom sink? Nope, nothing there. Yo, there's a mirror. Melon, I'm looking at myself in the mirror in the dark, making sure no monsters appear. Sonny, it's a bad idea. Why is it pitch black? Ah, there's a monster in the mirror! Hey, no, that's just me. It's Melon. <laughs> yeah, a monster Melon. Oh, that one was creepy, though. Sonny, were these Christmas lights here the whole time? I don't know. I'm taking a bath. Give me a second. Why is this clock vibrating? It's literally breathing. It's okay. I found a rubber duck. All's well. Whack. Sonny, there's other secrets around here. We just gotta keep our eyes peeled. Uh, as long as it's something nice, like more Christmas lights, I'm happy with it. Come on. I'm hiding in the fridge, Melon. Sonny, hide, hide. Oh no, I gotta find a place to hide too. No! Sonny, I got destroyed. Yo, I'm a genius. I hid in the fridge and I'm safe. 
Dang it. That's just like that doors monster. I died to rush. Are you alive? Can you respawn? Wait, it's telling me what the monster did. Next time, make sure to hide inside a room that it won't rush through. Bruh, cringe. You died in a game that's supposed to be casual. And Melon, it's getting more and more holiday themed. There's a Christmas tree in the TV room. Uh, I can respawn for 15 Robux, Sonny. I'm coming back. Let's cook. But what else is supposed to... Oh, no. Look around for the events. What's going on here? I'm closing all the windows. I don't want any monsters breaking through them. Looking outside. Uh, what the... No! Close that! What the heck? There's a giant lemon head trying to break in. <laughs> Yo, what? Close these blinds, bro. That was terrifying. The lights just turned back on now. Yeah, and why is there a snowman outside and these blinds keep reopening? Dude, what? Snowman is cute. I don't have a problem with the snowman. Yeah, that's true. That's fair enough. And you're right, bro. The clock is bumping. It's like a heartbeat now that I think about it. Maybe there's a way to get up to the attic. Or maybe that's an event and it'll open up at some point. We need to locate a key, Melon. I'm looking around. Can't seem to find it. If I can open up this microwave, can I microwave something? Yeah, microwave these nuts. Actually, wait, don't do that. That would be really painful. Not gonna microwave my own nuts, Sonny. That's stupid. Ugh, there's no loot here, bro. The lights are off, but nothing seems to be happening. Maybe the Christmas tree is gonna get some presents. Nah, everything seems normal. Ah! Melon? Sonny, I just got killed! What happened? You were right next to me, and then you flopped over. I got killed by Golden Freddy. What did this thing do? Bruh, take the L. That sucks. Shut up, Sonny. I need to see what this does. If you see the plush, move. Keep an eye on it. It will not attack or move as long as someone is looking at it. All right, Sonny, if you see a Golden Teddy plushie, you have to keep looking at it. You got it. But uh, I didn't even see any of those things. Neither did I, but I'm back. I feel like I'm gonna be the one that keeps dying. Lights are off once again, Sonny. And I'm closing the blinds. I don't want the outside world to see. Sonny, it just got a lot more Christmassy again. I don't know. What if that's dripping ooze? Did we get slimed like Nickelodeon slime time? I don't know. Was the kitchen green before? No, definitely not. Something weird is happening, Sonny. It's like the Christmas spirit is possessing this house. I am not digging it. And it's an evil Christmas spirit. Yeah, it keeps killing you, which is why I'm concerned. I'm gonna hide inside of this Christmas tree now, and hopefully the Grinch won't show up. Well, the lights turned off again. Be careful, Sonny. What just happened? I don't know. You tell me. It went dark for a moment. It grew again! It's taking over the entire house! Melon, do you think it's gonna take over us? I sure hope not, Sonny. Yeah, I'm hiding in the bathtub again. Quack, quack. Yeah, you hide in there like coward, Sonny. I'll take on whatever's coming. And I'll back you up. I'm not afraid. I just need it to get clean. You are not feeling tired yet, alright? So I shouldn't go to sleep. Wait, I don't think that's gonna work, bro. What is that? Um... Yeah! Yo, the TV! Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's your favorite host, Billy. Now for the episode, we have some new guests. Please welcome Big Man Sonny and Big Man Melon. Wait a second, bro. We didn't sign up for this. Now, now. The rules are simple. Answer the awesome questions correctly and win a prize. Shall we start, gentlemen? Here it is. You have 15 seconds to answer. Do animals fly? Yes? Yes. Yes, yes, they do. Yes, 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 yes. Type, 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 type. Yes. How come I can't type? I don't know. Oh, wait. Oh, no. There was something here on the knob. We were meant to twist. Uh, we didn't win anything. That will be all for today, everyone. This Billy is signing off. What's in here? Melon, are you okay? Yeah, I'm just underground. What is this? There's a timer going off. All right, I'm joining you. What's going on down here? Hello. Kind of looks like a train station. Sonny, I picked the right side. And I won money. Oh my goodness. I didn't get to claim the money, but I did get this trophy. Bro, that's epic. I got nothing. That was pretty cool. But you know what's not cool? Our house being overgrown with the crystal. Christmas spirit. Dude, it's not looking like mistletoe anymore. It's looking like vines, dude. It's taking over everything. Wait, the Christmas tree's gone now, though, Melon. I think it might be over the holiday season. Yeah, you're right. It's just green now. And it's not even snowy outside. What do you think's gonna happen this time, bro? I don't really want to find out. Can I please just tuck myself into bed and sleep? No, you can't, Sonny. I've got a bad feeling about this one. Let me explore the house. I'll make sure you're okay. Someone's knocking on the door. Hold on. Let me see who it is. Melon, don't open that. I can't open it. It's just pizza, Sonny. I want pizza, though. Oh, open that up. Pizza! Wait, there's one slice of pizza. It looks like you ate my pizza. Ew, gross. And it's so greasy in that box. It looks old. Enjoy your pizza? Sonny, we got pizza! Let's go, pizza, pizza! Except there's only one slice, and it's for me. Dang it. Action Melon, you could take a slice, too. The box is in the kitchen. Oh, let's go. I want a slice of this pizza. Yum. Yeah, this is some good pepperoni right here. That is yum. Well, Sonny, what do you think's gonna happen 
coming next? I got a bad feeling the pizza thief's coming soon. He's gonna take all of our one pepperoni slice. Nah, he wouldn't do that, surely. I'm guarding the pizza with my life. Uh, Sonny, the sink just turned on out of nowhere. Let me turn that off. Here, clog it up with some pepperoni. Hold on, another sink turned on over here. Turned them both off, no problem. Someone was trying to flood our house. Not cool. Melon, the house is getting creepier and more cursed by the second. I know, Sonny. I just really hope the lights don't turn off and then it sends a golden Freddy that kills all of us. That would suck. Hey, hey, it's only gonna kill you. I'm gonna keep my distance from it and hide in the corner! What is that? Sonny, what is that? What is that, Sonny? Sonny! Get in the fridge! He's still chasing me! Get me in the fridge now! Ah! Sonny, he's still coming after you! It's okay, I'm in the fridge! No, he killed you! That was so cursed! That was so cursed! That was the ultimate annoying orange, Sonny. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting that. And I died to it. It murdered me. Dang it, Melon. I can't believe I actually let it eat me. Actually, it killed me by exploding my ears. Dang it. But don't worry. I'm coming back. The lights just went out, Sonny. Completely out. I can't see anything. Oh, wait. I turned on my flashlight. Yeah, you're chilling. You're being chilling. Something has crawled under the bed. Bro, that's up to you to investigate. No! Don't go in there! Don't go in there! <laughs> I'm spying on it from a distance through the little vines. Bro, you got hard. <sighs> Well, Sonny, don't go in the bed monster room. Sonny? Yeah? It's not letting me revive. I'm pressing the button right now. Dude, you ran out of revive passes? It just won't click. I don't understand. It's all up to you now, Sonny. I'll spectate you. Uh, what is that? Something just says you're it. Three, two, one, find me. I gotta find this thing in quick. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's gotta be around here. No way. It's probably hiding. Oh, no, Sonny. Check the bedroom. Check the bedroom. You still haven't checked the bedroom or bathroom. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Ah! I found it! I found it! Bro, you died! Well, it found me then. That was really spooky. Well, I see you failed to find Hyde. Yeah, Hyde found me! And this is the afterlife, Sonny. We're both dead here. But could you go stop our channel from dying? Press that subscribe button right now. Today in Roblox, we're playing scary games that keep progressively getting more creepy. First, it's a Slenderman knockoff where we have to find all eight pages to escape. And then we play something truly cursed. So watch until the end of this video to see what happens. And if it's too scary for you, head to our merch store, sunnyandmelon.com to get a cute giant plushie that'll keep you cozy. Melon, we're trapped in the Slenderman forest with all of these other players. And if we can't locate all eight pages, we're gonna die. We gotta track them down, Sonny. It's an absolute classic, bro. Except now it's in Roblox. And when midnight arrives, we're done for. Someone already dropped, Sonny. Get these pages and get them quick. Where are you? I don't want to get lost. I'm exploring, bro. I think it's better that we split up to cover more ground. That sounds like a terrible idea. Isn't that how everybody dies in every horror movie ever? Yes, but in this particular one, we have to find eight different objects. How are we gonna do that if we're sticking together? The map is huge and there's a time limit. I guess you have a good point, Sonny. Plus, our teammates already tracked some of the pages down. We have three of them now. You think they're just gonna be on like random trees? Uh, Melon, I found a weird little prisoner. And yeah, I'm pretty sure the pages can be anywhere. But what is this guy doing? Should I talk to him? Hello? Sir, would you like to escape this place? Yeah, he doesn't talk. Okay, I'm out of here. Yeah, don't worry about it, Sonny. That's his problem. We need to focus on getting ourselves out of here. I'm with you, brother. But we need to find at least one page each if we're gonna survive. Checking the perimeter right now near the gate. Same here. I found a little building. It looks promising. The door's locked. Dang it. Sonny, I'm hearing some weird sounds. Don't worry, it's probably just Slenderman. Um, do I look at Slenderman or away from Slenderman? I have no idea, Melon. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Just focus on the pages. There's gotta be one around here somewhere. I've looked at like a hundred trees. Same here, Sonny. But I found zero pages. I'm just creeped out the whole time. Oh no. I found a dead one, Melon. One of our bacon hairs has fallen. I'm sure many more will fall, Sonny. But that doesn't matter if we can find all eight pages. Oh, I found a building. Finally something new. Is there a page around here? Hello? We have to make sure that all the dead players didn't die for nothing. Ah! Slenderman! What do I do? Do I look away? Oh, okay, do Melon, not- Melon, run! Just run! Get out of there! Do not look at Slenderman, Sonny. That's what you're supposed to do. Okay. That was terrifying. But I know there's a page back there. 
I've got to go and find it. No, it's not in his truck. It's not at the house either. Dang it. I'll follow this dirt road. There's got to be pages around here. Melon, I've been following dirt roads for a long time, and it finally paid off. It says that Slenderman will follow you, but I got the page. Hey, what's up, Sonny? Oh, hey, Melon. Not too much. You just missed out on a page. It was on this truck. Oh, sweet. Well, you just missed out on Slenderman. He's just down the road. Yeah, let's not go that way then. Instead, let's look for a fork in the road and take a turn to the... Why is this guy running for his life? Uh, he's chill, bro. Don't worry. Have you been in here, Sonny? I don't even know what in here is. Giant tunnel. And the answer's no. You literally ran through it. Well, there was nothing in there, bro. It was just a giant wall. Whatever, Sonny. You take a right. I'm gonna go straight. Sounds good. I'll track down all the papers. Melon, the timer is ticking, by the way. We only have three minutes left. I found a whole bunch of rusty tanks. Maybe one of these has a paper on it. We can only hope, Sonny. I found the bacon hair noob. That's dead. Ah! Slender! Slender's at the tanks! He's at the rusty tanks! Sonny, that probably means there's a page nearby. You gotta go back and grab it. No, I'm a coward. I'm running away. Hopefully someone else found the page. That was too scary for me. Dang it, where are these pages? I'm checking inside of this building again, in case it's a different building. But I think I've already been here. Dang it. Bro, this game is so hard. There's two minutes left and we haven't found the pages yet. This is ridiculous. Yes, we're up to six pages. Let's go. We can do this, Sonny. Ta, Slenderman. Dang it. Why does he always do that? Melon, seven pages. Oh, the exit's open. Someone found the eighth page. What the heck? Where is the exit, Sonny? That's the question. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Nothing's highlighted. Ah! Slenderman's probably guarding it. Sonny. I don't understand. Where is this exit? I'm looking everywhere. I'm going towards where Slenderman is, because I got a feeling he's guarding it. This is so terrifying. This is too spooky. What if the exit's the big tunnel? Sonny, the big tunnel was in the middle of the map. Oh. Maybe this guy knows where he's going. Oh, no. I think he stopped hoping that I knew where I was going. Dang it. This is bad. I've reached the fence, but I can't find the exit anywhere. I'm going to scale the fence until I find something. Yeah, I'm asking people in the chat, where's the exit? I don't think anybody has a clue, bro. How are you supposed to know. 50 seconds. Just get lucky, bro. I'm running around the edge of the map. I'm looking everywhere, Sonny, but I can't find it. I am going counterclockwise. Wait, no, this is clockwise. I'm going clockwise. I am going counterclockwise, I think. Ah, Slenderman! Why does he do that? Melon, if you're going counterclockwise and I'm running clockwise, there's a chance that at least one of us finds the exit. Oh, but Slenderman is haunting me right now. Oh. Oh, hey, Melon. Hey, Sonny. Oh, this is bad. So, we both totally missed the exit. Uh, whatever. I didn't go for that long. Dude, there's 10 seconds left. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? We find all the pages but can't find the exit? Dang it! That is so brutal. Slenderman wins this time. Dang it! Dang you, Slenderman. You won. Melon, why did you bring us to this game? It's even scarier than the Slenderman! Because, Sonny, we have to do it for the video. This is one of the most cursed games in all of Roblox. Bro, let's just do it. Just move forward, Melon. Sonny, as we go through this experience, things are gonna get a little bit more creepy. And we need keys to enter these rooms. Nah, you just need to be goaded. Uh... Why'd the music stop? Melon, I don't like it out here. This is just as creepy as Slenderman. Nah, this isn't creepy, Sonny. This is normal. Look, it's just our open field. There's some nice red lighting. Yeah, nothing ominous here at all. Everything seems totally normal. We're just going on a nice frolic through the woods. <gasps> Melon? Sonny, what is this? What is this, Sonny? If you look at them, they kind of disappear a little bit at least. Uh, Sonny, they're staring at you. They're staring at you. Melon, just run! If we go fast, maybe they can't look at us. I don't like this. Keep moving! There's nowhere left to go! Maybe you gotta jump on the masks. Yeah, I'm doing it. Melon, I don't like this. Oh, it's so scary. Ah! No, I missed it too! Melon, what is this game? I don't know. But it's cursed. I'm not giving up, Melon. I'm getting back in that field, and I'm gonna find that smile. There's more to this game, Sonny. I just know it. We have to do the parkour, then. It's cursed, it's cursed, it's cursed. Melon, you just run into his face! This is cursed! Ah! I don't like this. I can't hear you, Melon. I can't hear anything. Mm, sorry, what's going on? I gotta get out of this room. Uh, Melon, I'm sorry if you're talking. I can't hear a thing. This is so cursed. 
cursed. This is so bad. It's happening to me too, Sonny. Ah! Melon, run through the tunnel. Get in the hallway and get out of there. I can't hear you. Yes. I can't hear you at all, Sonny. It's so loud. Melon, I made it through the tunnel, but the next room is even more scary. Get me to the end of this tunnel. Melon, I can hear you again. The look ahead of us is a giant mouth and a creepy lady. Oh, she's not too bad, I bet. Hey, what's up, lady? Ow! Yeah, Melon, don't mess with her. I'm just gonna continue on this way instead. I really don't want to die. Melon, I feel like I'm part of some really cursed ritual and I found some dude back here. Should I talk to him? Hello there, sir. Melon is asking for help. Under the stairs. Fix the door for a knife. Wait, feed the door for a knife. Okay, goodbye. I'm going behind the stairs, Melon. What the? I'm in the loud room again, Sonny. I can't hear you. Okay, just run through that tunnel and I made it into a secret place. And I found a knife. <laughs> Melon, I'm gonna wait for you here. It's super cursed. What's up, Sonny? I got out of the loud room again. Okay, follow me. Follow me, Melon. This way. The lady is chasing me. Just get down here. Quickly. Melon, back here. Back here, dude. Oh. And then behind the stairs. Where'd you go? Through the wall. You can go through the wall. Oh my goodness. What did you find, Sonny? And then there's a knife over here. Come grab it. Oh. We need this for something, I bet. Yes, we do. And then we gotta do something with this knife and feed it to the door or something like that. I don't know. Feed it to the door? But what door? I don't know. I think maybe we fed ourselves to the door because we're already in here. We could return to the hub. Nah, I don't want to do that. Let's go back to the main room. And now we have a knife so we can defend ourselves. Let's go down the hallway, Sonny. I'm not afraid of this! Bring it on! Uh, Melon, nothing's happening. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of what's happening right now. I'm gonna explore this area a little tiny bit more, and maybe I'll stab this guy. Maybe we gotta stab the lady. Oh, you try it, you try it. Uh, I don't think it's working, Sonny. It's not, it's not working, and she's gonna kill me. Melon, just run, just run, she's too cursed. Maybe we're supposed to go back to the hub. Yeah, maybe there's no other choice. Let's do it. Returning to the hub. Okay, now I have a blade. I'm going back to this face, this time with a knife. I'm not a afraid of you. Ah, I should have been. I definitely should have been. I hate this tunnel. Sonny, maybe there's something in this void here. Where are you? Oh, I died. I'm back in the main area. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna explore down here. Whoa. Where the heck am I? The heck? That guy's still looking at me. Sonny, I'm scaling down right now. Scaling down where? What the heck did I find? Sonny, this is really weird. The heck? It's like a whole other world over here. I'm gonna drop down the masks. Is that what you did? Yeah, but on the edge of the world. The heck? I found a Roblox house. Melon, that is so cursed. What is in this house? It looks like there's some kind of ritual happening. I've got to see what that is, but I've got to be careful. We'll fall to my death. Yeah, Melon, it's all up to you now. I keep slipping and falling and dying. All right, I'm going in. All right, now I just got to parkour. Oh, no, I think I missed my opportunity. What is going on? What is this? Let me... No, I fell to my death. Why? Well, Sonny, let me tell you, this game did not put a smile on my face. But you know what would put a smile on my face? Pressing that like and subscribe button. Do it now. This lab laboratory was studying cursed entities and conducting experiments when things went wrong. There were no survivors, and our job is to recover the source of these entities, the crystal. But with every door we open, things get more and more cursed, and we encounter more dangerous entities. This is Roblox pressure. Sonny will arrive in five seconds. Bro, I'm nervous. What's gonna be down here? Don't question it, Sonny. It's our mission to explore whatever this is, even if it costs us our lives. Yeah, Melon, how about we scratch that last part and we survive it. Whoa, 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 the submarine just ditched us. Oh, no. Sonny, we gotta get this crystal at all costs. But well, we're dead, bro. Melon, I'll sacrifice you if it comes to it. Don't worry. No, don't sacrifice me. Anyways, let's continue into the first door. Chill, bro. I have a lantern right here. Yeah, Melon, we need the key card reader. We can't progress without it. It's probably around here somewhere, Sonny. Eh, that's an empty drawer. Well, weren't you listening to him? I was, and that's why I located the key card. And now I'm gonna progress through the world. No matter what it throws at me, I won't be a coward. Let's roll. Hmm, Melon? It's a little ominous, but nothing too bad so far. Yeah, I wouldn't even call it ominous. This seems chill, Sonny. Just scout out for loot. I got myself some corks. Yeah, you look for loot. I want to get further. I want to see the mysteries and collect the crystals. There's only one crystal, Sonny. Yes, I will have the crystal. It'll be mine. And I'll use it to take over the world. Uh, I don't think you can do that. Melon, the lights went out in that room. It's okay, Sonny. I have a lantern. Okay, good. I was worried something was gonna come and kill me. Let's just go to the next room. Sonny, so far things seem 
pretty chill. Yeah, but we're only five doors in. I got a feeling once we pass door 10, that's when things are gonna get wild. Nah, I think we're chillin'. Whatever you do, though, don't go in this locker. I think you will get hurt. There's a purple light there, you sure? I mean, you wanna test it out? There's something moving around in there. I'm not touching that. Yeah, there's most definitely something that's gonna kill you. Keep an eye out for those purple lockers. I found another key card and melon. It looks like they're conducting experiments down here. I see some test tubes. Yeah, but experiments on what? Probably the crystal or maybe watermelons. Ah, uh, bro, that's stupid. Uh, Sonny, the lights just flickered. Get in a locker. Get in a locker. Why? Why would I want to get in a locker? Everything seems fine. No, ah, get in a locker. It's not fine. Sonny, are you okay, bro? I just barely survived it. This is exactly like the doors. Why would you take us here? This place is haunted. I'm sorry, Sonny. I didn't know it was going to be like this. Just keep moving. No matter how much pressure we're under, Melly, we won't be cowards. Be careful, Sonny. There's more entities in the lockers. Yeah, this time it's yellow, which makes me want to check it. Ah! Big mistake! Sonny! Oh, no. I just watched you get eaten. Wait, wait, wait. I'm alive. I'm alive. Can you do something? I can help you. No way. Thank you, Melon. It was slowly draining my health, but you saved me. Can't believe I could actually help you out with that. Yeah, and now I have 62% health. You could have gotten me out of there at like 90. Well, now I know for the future. And yes, all the entities in the lockers appear to be evil. I was hoping one of them would be a friendly. It looks like some rocks caved in here. Uh, Sonny, get ready. Get ready to... That was a lot of flickers. Sonny, get in a locker. I'm in a locker. I'm hiding. I'm keeping my ears peeled, Sonny. Yeah, and keep your eyes out too for any flickering lights. Is this the right way? I'm not entirely sure, but I found a battery. I need to get my own torch. Let's keep advancing, Sonny. Door 12. Bro, it looks like something collapsed in this room. I wonder if this is where the crystal's held. I think we're gonna have to go through this vent, Sonny. Can you light it up? Yeah, let me lead the pack. Here we go. I hope that's our footsteps and not some monster. Sonny, why are there two doors that say 13? I'm gonna guess that we wanna take the door Door on the right. Yeah, I think so too. This one looks glitched. There's also a staircase up here, bro. I'm going up. I'm going to the next room, Sonny. It's pitch black in here. I'm with you, broski. Man, this whole place is a giant labyrinth. And how did they build this under the water? I don't know, Sonny. And why did they build this under the water? I think it's because they're trying to harvest crystals at the center of the planet. It might be. I have a feeling these crystals corrupted some things. They're too powerful. Sonny, the lights flickered. The lights just flickered, Sonny. It's okay. I'm in a locker. I'm chill. I don't have a locker. Where are the lockers? Here he comes. I'm gonna die! I'm getting out of the way. No! Melon, melon, melon. That is just sad. Dude, you don't understand how unlucky I got. I couldn't find any lockers in the next three rooms. There was a vent. You just needed to drop into it. Oh. Actually, melon, it's okay. I found your dead body and I picked up your lantern. I was really just trying to use you for the light source. All's good now. Sonny, I found the revive button. Let's go. Hurry up, bro. Your body's still laying here. Oh, it's gone. You're alive. Let's go. I won't let that happen again, Sonny. I need your light. I got you, brother. First things first, time to open up. Whoa, Sonny, what, what is, is this? No. Ah, look Sonny, away run. from it. Oh, Sonny, you've got to be careful. It looks like there's a giant fish that could suck us out. Bro, the entities in this game are insano. That thing was trying to magnetize me to look at it. I almost was hypnotized, but I dodged him. And I just got a mad steal. I got another lantern. Nice, we need that. I need some batteries for my current one, too. This is a new room, Sonny. I've never seen this before. And I'm speed running. Door 24. Oh, uh, Melon, it is super dark in there. Just follow me, Sonny. I'll lead us to victory. I hope so. Or you're gonna lead us to death. Ah, uh, we'll be fine. Check it out. There's... Never mind. I thought that was a battery. Nah, just a bunch of guacamole. I don't need money. I need batteries. I wonder what happens when we get to floor 50. What is that? Is that just a light source? Or is that a monster? Uh oh, Sonny. Sonny, hide. Get ready to hide. I'm hiding. I found a medical kit. Found a locker. I'm hiding. I think I should be good in the spaceship. It kicked me out of the locker. What is this? I need to calm down. I'm dead. I'm dead again. Yo, it's a green ghost. Sonny, where? Where am I? Sonny? I don't know. I'm inside of a spaceship waiting for the gas to go away. Shut up, Sonny. I don't know where I am. I'm in some kind of underworld. There's green acid around me. Green magma. What is this place? What's going on? Melon, I found your lamp on the crate? ground. What is that crate? I died. What just happened to me? Unlucky, Melon. Maybe you should just stick with me. Shut up, Sonny. Just saying. It could be a good idea for you. Well, it's okay, Sonny. I can now revive. Good, because I found some awesome staircase to the crystal. Soon I will have it. Hey, Melon. Hi, Sonny. There's a weird noise.
noise coming from back here. Yeah, let's just keep moving on. It is mad creepy in here. Let's just dip. I got it. Don't worry. Please give me another lantern. I'm so mad that I lost that. So weird. I got teleported to some green dimension and then I died there. Yeah, it's because the giant green ghost monster grabbed you. Hey, keep a move on here, Sonny. I want to get out of this place as quickly as possible. Yeah, me too. But I also don't want to die. I know you're pretty good at that, but I don't like it. Shut up, Sonny. Wait, Sonny, this isn't the next door. Do not open this door. Where are you, Melon? This is door 39. We just came through door 37. Oh, are you sure? Should I go double check? You're right. Oh, you're Sonny. right. Sonny, it flickered. Lights flickered in here. Get ready. I don't think that was the same flicker. Yep. Yes, it was. You're right. Holy smokes. That was creepy. Okay, so we need to go this way. Sonny, don't open that door. That's not 39, is it? That's 39. Right in front of us. Okay, we need to find 38, you're saying? I believe so. But I don't see a door 38. Therefore, Mr. Melon, I shall open door 39 recklessly. Wait, before you do it, let me check out this room a little bit more. Is there a secret vent? Keep your eye out for a vent. That might be what we need. All right, you can open the door. All right, let's do it. If we die, we die. Oh, everything's fine. Bro, on this side, it says 38. That was weird, Sonny. Maybe we had to get that guy to come at us first. Maybe. Bro, the game is playing tricks on us. It's messing with our minds. Why is this door 40 then? Yeah, good point. Something ain't right here. And then on this side, it says 39. Oh, wait, Melon. It's because it's saying if you go backwards. Oh, oh, okay. I'm just an idiot. I'm sorry. Melon, get ready. What the heck is this thing? Look down. Look down. Get away from it. Get ready to go in the locker, Sonny. I'm in. Oh, that was that close. That was so clutch. That thing was so weird. I almost died to the green hypnosis. I know. Same here. Ah! What the heck is that? What the heck is that? Sonny, did you get rid of it? I guess so. I don't know. I'm taking a med kit. Sonny is right next to me again. Don't look at it. I'm looking down. I'm med kitting. It does 25 damage, that guy. Go straight ahead, Sonny. Take a left. <sighs> We're through. Wait, you're through? Yeah, Melon, where are you? Come to the light. That thing was so weird. What was that? I don't know. It did a lot of damage to me, though. It's a new SCP, Sonny. We found a new one of the monsters. Yes, the deeper we go, the more monsters we'll discover. The more problems we're gonna have. Come on, where's the other lanterns? I have one spare battery, I believe. Let me try and load it up. Yep, I just inserted it. But now I'm out of batteries. Dang it, Sonny. Should have waited till your lantern was completely out. It didn't fill it to the maximum, so don't worry. I got full value. Oh, what is this? It's a Christmas tree. This is awesome. Dude, this is cursed. I wouldn't call this awesome. It's kind of freaking me out right now. Why is this Christmas tree on fire, Sonny? Yeah, that's cooked. Uh, Melon, don't look at it. It might be a bait. I don't like this one bit. Yeah, me neither. I don't like it one bit. They should just close all the doors and cut off the oxygen, then the fire will die. There's another Christmas tree here. I'm looking for a place. There's only one. There's only one over here. Wait for it. Hide! There's two monsters! Melon, I saw something else that wasn't the normal one. Melon, we gotta get a move on. Uh, Melon? Melon? Oh, no, goats. I think the game is so scary, it just killed his computer. He was right in front of me. Then he vanished like a phantom ghost. Not good. I'm gonna have to carry on without him. This is so nerve-wracking. I need batteries, and I need a way out of here. Uh, hello? Yo! Okay, goats. So this looks like a creepy shopkeeper that I can buy all these extra loots from. The only thing is, I don't actually trust him. He said something about a key card to the next room for no extra charge. But I have a feeling there are strings attached. I just don't trust this guy. I'll buy some batteries. I got a lot of money to spend. Sebastian's document for a thousand. Well, I don't have that kind of cash. Key card is free. And I think I want to test out a regular flashlight. Whatever, broski. Trying out the flashlight. And I'm making my way. I've got to do this for Melon. The game killed his computer and now it's up to me. This thing is progressively getting more and more weird. I hope it doesn't disconnect my computer next. I am starting to feel the pressure, though. It's mounting. And this game is intense! Look down! I won't let it kill me. I won't let it. I'm in a locker. That's right. No, it's coming back for me. What the heck? It's doing so much damage! What am I supposed to do? Bro, I need to get out of here. It killed me. It killed me! I don't even know where I was supposed to go! Dang it! You died. Yes, of course I died. And goats, <laughs> if you want to see us try this game again, press the like button and subscribe to our channel. Because it keeps getting more and more creepy. And I feel kind of bad. It exploded Melon's computer. So now it's just up to me. At least we got past 50 doors. Maybe next time we can reach 100. Today in Roblox, I'm playing games that slowly get more and more creepy. They start off innocent like most games, but the longer I play them, the more strange things become. I'm warning you though, things are cursed here and there might be some jump scares. Comment what creepy games we should play next time. And for the very first game, it's called Happy. And just look at the smile on my face and my beautiful newbie house. What could possibly go wrong? here. I'm gonna guess a lot, but hopefully nothing. Hopefully nothing. Hello! 
Wait, it's my birthday! And it looks like my family got me a cake! This is awesome. They're all wishing me a happy birthday. I mean, the world is a little bit shaky, but other than that, I'm having a great day! A wonderful family and some delicious birthday cake. Thank you guys so much! Nothing creepy so far. Why did they all just turn dark mode? And what's happening? My game is freaking out! My eyeballs! This hurts! Oh no, I can feel my heartbeat. And why is this guy coming out of the ground? What is going on? This is so cooked! Wait, what? I just changed games. It switched me to a game called Further. I don't know if I want to explore any deeper. It's getting too creepy already. But I'm not afraid. Hello? What is going on? Something's coming out of the floor. Is that a doorway? Oh boy. This is creepy. I don't think I should open this, but I also don't think I have much of a choice. We're going further. Open up. It appears I can't open this door very easily. What is happening to me? Oh, who the heck is this guy? What just happened? It just teleported me somewhere else. This is so cursed. And now there's a big, beautiful world out there. What is What is this? I'm in an elevator? This looks cursed. There's something written over here. What does this message say? Three things you can't hide. Say them three times out loud. I don't know. What's up with these guys? Hello? Is anybody here? <gasps> the answers. Lies. S-O-N truth you o m i'm confusion i don't even know what's going on here this place is cursed i just want to leave it is too creepy i don't want truth or lies i just want to dip ah what the heck is ben doing here okay goats after that jump scare i needed something more friendly which is why we're in amelia's cafe it's an anime made cafe it's gonna be friendly and nice and cozy hello order up ah here she is what is up with her hands oh i thought those were hooks that's just her hair yes hello Hello there, Amelia. It's good to see you. I'd like to place an order for some corn dogs. Uh, actually, this is a good point. Where is everybody? I'm the only one working here, but if you're talking about the customers, you're the one who just arrived, so no need to worry about it. It's a pretty unique cafe. They hired me to serve all the customers here. I can do every duty. Now that we've gotten to know each other, please tell me your order. Sure thing. Uh, why does her face look like that? Was her smile like this before? She looks a bit cursed. I guess I'll just take a seat then. Great choice. I'll be right over to hand you the menu. Thank you, Amelia. Bring me my corn dogs. Oh, wait, I gotta order first. Dude, she looks cursed. I ain't gonna cap. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, I'm gonna take those weenies. Excellent choice. Wow. Why is she talking like that? Oh, dessert. Nice. I think I'll take some shortcake, please. Oh, I even get a nice little bit of tea. Green tea. Excellent choices. I'll prepare your meal. Be patient. Okay, Amelia. I'll be chill. I'll take a look around while you get that order ready then. So far, nothing creepy's happened other than her smile. Bro, that was so quick. I didn't even get out of my seat. Look at my meal. I think it's actually what I ordered too. No way. This is amazing. Yay. Thanks for the grub. Have a great meal. Ready, set, go. Time to eat. Shortcake. Wieners. Shortcake. Tea. Bro, eating my meal is a whole minigame? That's crazy. I really don't understand what's so weird about this game. Nothing's cursed so far. Everything seems totally normal. And three seconds left. My meal should be eaten. <laughs> You're eating normally just like the others I met. Yeah, I would hope so. I'm just having some lunch, Amelia. Chill. I'll have to come back when I'm hungry again. Thank you, Amelia. This place was great. Ugh, can't wait to tell Melon about it. Delicious, delicious, delicious. The door won't open. Hold up. Why? isn't the door opening. Amelia, the door, it won't budge. Please, I gotta go tell my brother Melon about this restaurant. She's apologizing for the inconvenience, and I think she's gonna go fix the door for me, right? Or this is the point in the story where things get a little more creepy. The lights just went out, and suddenly, it's nighttime. Amelia, come back. I want to leave. I think I have to investigate further. Amelia, I need your help, please. This door's locked, too. Yeah, I'm gonna knock on the door. Nobody's responding. Perhaps if I explore, I'll find a solution. Let's see, behind one of these paintings? No, just a poster. Everything seems kind of normal. Except, doesn't this look like Amelia? Uh... Yeah, it's a little cooked, I won't lie. So I'll rip it off the wall! Let's go! <laughs> Secret passageway unlocked. I got a bad feeling about this. You should never descend down into the depths of secret passageways. Yeah, that is just ketchup sauce. It is not blued. Just good old ketchup sauce. Uh, hello? As I opened the door, I took a few steps inside of the room and then stopped dead in my tracks. Ew! There's arm 
arms in there. How could somebody do this? Come on, just let me leave the anime cafe. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. Come on, come on. It's locked. I need a key. Oh, this is giving me the creeps. Wait, maybe there's a key in the furnace. No, I guess I'll just head back to the cafe. This game is definitely getting more creepy. Uh, Amelia, can you put the knife down? Ah! Is that it? Is that the whole game? Bad ending. I got ambushed. You know what? I want to play a different creepy game. It's time for us to play a game called Below the Surface. Looks like we got in a car wreck and there's no choice other than to go inside of this building and then jump down this ominous hole and... What the heck is this guy? Why? And then it kicks me? There was nothing slowly getting creepy there. That was instant. I gotta try again. Okay, this time I'm not gonna to get captured right away. I will enjoy this game and see it slowly get more cursed. I can escape this guy. I could do it. I think I lost him, actually. I don't see the red light anymore. I'm in the clear. I think I'm actually gonna get out of this place. I just gotta- Are you kidding me? You click on a door to open it and you get kicked? Bro, this game is so cursed. One last try. Okay, third time's the charm. I did say it would get progressively more creepy. I should have known it'd be more cursed as well. And this time, I'm not gonna touch anything. I mean, just look at this guy. Oh, he's cursed. I gotta move. I gotta move. Oh, then he's stuck on a corner again. Poor fella. Whatever. I'm not falling for this door again. Check this room out. Okay. It's actually not a dead end. Interesting. But this does seem kind of like a maze. I just kind of feel trapped. I've got an idea. When I got close to the guy, it gives me a press E option. I wonder what that does. Here comes the weirdo. And then... Press E to pick up! Press E to pick up! I'm trying to steal his axe! I couldn't take his axe from him, and now I'm dead again. Okay, here we are on Crossroads, a nostalgic hangout. I'm sure this is gonna be totally normal, and nothing weird or cursed is gonna happen, right? Hello, fellow Robloxians. I have come to hang out with you. Talk to me. No? All right, I guess they don't want to. Maybe we just enjoy some OG Roblox. Uh, what did I just find? I do not like this. So I'll have to go investigate a little more closely. Wait, there was someone here a second ago. She was here. Play the tape. And now she's here. Uh, what is going on? Why are these all dead players? I guess I got no choice but to sit down. Uh, where'd she go? I swear I just saw- What's happening? Why is the doll's head more sideways? Why do they keep looking at me? Why are you looking at me like- Ah! What is this? Look at their faces! This is so cursed! No, no, let me out of here. Let me out of here. I want to get out of this seat. Oh, no, I think I made a big mistake. I should not have come to this game. Look up. There's nothing. It's fine. Uh, goats. Uh, and now I'm just out here? Nope, I can't do it. I'm done. I'm done. This video is over. Press the like button. I gotta go. I think I might have pooped myself. Today in Roblox Jeff, we're building the ultimate maximum security base to survive from the giant evil faces. Did you know that you can build planks and structures anywhere in the world? We're literally making such a crazy base in the forest. 5,000 likes for more Jeff funny moments. Let's get goaded. Dang it, Melon, you brought us back to Roblox Jeff, and these giant evil faces are about to attack. The sun is setting. This isn't good, Sonny. We haven't even had a chance to build our most secure base yet. Bro, track down a hammer and let's meet up. Turn on your flashlight. It's time to find some loot. Oh, Sonny, first thing I found was a hammer. Let's go. You are so lucky. I found a chocolate bar, but that's okay. I'll send it to Mr. Beast. And I got a shotgun. Oh, it's been a while since I've found some heavy artillery like this. I got myself a crowbar and a chocolate bar as well, Sonny. I'm pretty looted up right now. Nice. Whereabouts are you? I'm trying to track you down. Uh, I found some ammo in here. I couldn't describe it, Sonny. I'm in a house. A blue house. Okay, I'll find blue houses after I blast this Jeff away! Wait, Sonny, I think I'm near you. I heard a shotgun go off. Yeah, that's me. I'm in a big hospital building. Yeah, I just killed a Jeff with a crowbar single-handedly. Oh, more ammo. Let's go. Oh, that's for regular guns, though. Not for my shoddy. Sonny, I'm running towards the sound of your shotgun right now. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. I don't have a hammer or any place to protect. I'm just on top of the roof like an idiot. Oh, I can't see anything, though. Are you in here? Oh, no, there's some Jeffs in there. I'm outside, Melon. I don't know where you 
far, Sonny. I don't see a giant hospital. Oh, I thought you heard my shotties. Can you shoot it again? I just heard it. Hold on. I'm running towards it. You can see a light. I'm on the streets. I, I hear you. Melon, do the flashlight. Sonny! I found you, brother. And now let's find a place to hold up for the night. What, do you want to go here? There's a lot of windows, but we could hold down the fort. I don't even have a hammer yet, so bad idea. Well, we need to find you a hammer so then we can both build the most secure base. Perhaps in here? No. No hammers. But there's a Jeff! Beat him up! Ooh, that Jeff didn't even stand a chance, Brody. Not even close. Oh, hammer. Got it. Let's go. Where do you want to secure this base, Sonny? I'm thinking over here somewhere. Let's find a smaller house with less winders. Uh, handgun. Oh, Melon, I'm stacked. I've never had this much loot. I have so much ammunition, too. Dang it, Sonny. I need a gun. I'm defenseless with my crowbar. Don't worry. I got you, bro. I got you. Should we just build our own base? Can you do that? Hold on. Hammer time. Bro, build a bunker out here. This is going to be really hard to do, Sonny. Not if you click fast enough. I never knew you could do this. This is epic, bro. Are you going to help or just look at me? You can't build any elevation, Sonny. You're just going to build a clobba jabba of wooden planks. What do you, what do you mean a clobba jabba? I'm literally building like a little house right now. Look at this. Low key right, Sonny. We are going to build the most secure house you've ever seen. Yeah, dude, it's all planks. There's no way they could break through it. It's kind of like camping, bro. We're making a tent. Dude, this is awesome. This truly will be the most secure base. How do we want to get inside of it, though? We should probably make like a door area out here. Yeah, hold on. I'll work on the roof. Yeah, you work on the roof. I'm just going to keep building this lengthways. And then at the last second, we could close the front door if we're worried. Oh, this is awesome, bro. We're actually building our own house. I didn't know this was possible. I will fortify the exterior. Sonny, we should build a wall. Great big wall around us. That's what I'm working on right now. Plaster the house fully. In a moat. We need a lava moat as well. Bro, how are you going to get a lava moat in Jeff? Get a lava bucket. Yeah, let me get right on that. Make sure you have a water bucket. Oh, wait. I'll just punch your head. You're a watermelon. Shut up, Sonny. Oh, I'm building the great big wall around us. Nice. I'm fortifying, bro. This is insane. Look at this clobba java like you called it, bro. This thing is a behemoth. When night two sets, the Jeffs have no chance to find us. No chance at all. Check out this wall. I'm securing the other side of our fortress right now. We should tell the other players to find us. Look for our base in the woods. Woods, if you need sanctuary. Sonny, I'm spamming wood down so fast right now. It's insane. All right, let's see this from the inside. How do we look in here? Bro, our base is so awesome. I know. When night two sets in, Sonny, these Jeffs are not getting in. This is actually the coolest idea we've ever had. Yes. Yes. Probably your coolest idea ever, though. Thank you. I don't know why I'm building a wall considering Jeffs can fly. It's okay. It's intimidation. It's also about telling the other players in the server where we are. It's about hope, inspiration. I hear someone nearby with a weapon. Maybe they'll join us. When they see the Kalaba Jabba, they must. Join us in the woods. It is safe here. It really is, though. This is crazy. Check it out, Sonny. We've actually made our own little teepee hut. Bro, this is actually such an awesome creation. But it'd be a real shame if someone threw a match in here. Yeah, that would really suck. Good thing that doesn't exist in Giant Evil Face. Yeah, if there was a little bit of fire, we would be deaded. Oh, wait, Melon, we're missing something. We gotta go get a lantern. I'll be right back. Sonny, you go get a lantern. I'll continue to work on the wall. Die, Jeff. Die. Kind of looks like an egg. Oh, lantern and a chocolate bar. Oh, that's epic. Give me this some food. And Melon, I'm gonna have to drop one of my chocolate bars for the lantern. Where do you want this? Inside of the base or on the top? I think I'm gonna put one on the top like this. I'm gonna go look for another one. Bro, this is awesome. We're the beacon of light in the woods. The sun might be setting soon though, Sonny. Be careful. I found a new recruit, bro. He's been putting planks all over the road. Maybe I can bring him over. Say, follow me. I'm making a path. It's like a breadcrumb trail. Melon, look. I'm guiding the players. We're gonna save the world. All right. Well, you might want to get in here because the sun is set. I recruited him. Nando's. Do you want some chicken? Ooh, some chicken could go. Oh, yummy. Now, let's just hope he doesn't betray us. Yeah. No. Yes, exactly. Is that you? Yeah, I did that. I'm not even going to cap. Okay. Well, that was a bit silly. I don't even have a crowbar, so I'm dependent on you to let me out. Oh, I can't even get out of here, Sonny. You're breaking all the wrong stuff, aren't you? I don't know. I can't even see. Great. Well, the good news is we are going to 
be safe in here. Why don't you tell me a spooky ghost story? Once upon a time, a sunny and a melon went into a Klaba Jabba hut, but they couldn't escape because some idiot put a plank in the way. Oh, and then the idiot removed the plank. They stepped outside and saw nothing in the world. It was a peaceful night and nothing scary happened at all. Uh oh, the Jeffs. Jeffs are attacking! I take back everything! Get in! Get in! They can't possibly penetrate the Klaba Jabba, Sonny. Don't worry. Bro, there are so many up here. Time for me to light them up. Be careful, Sonny. I'm not scared of them. Oh! I'll go out. With my crowbar in hand. Nice work. Now I gotta eat a chocolate because they hurt me. They bit my melon a little bit. Yeah, they were just looking for some hydration. Well, Melon, I think our little bunker is surviving. Unless one of those giant Jeffs show up, we should be fine. Yeah, I think we're actually big Chihillin. Hold on, I'm gonna put our lantern outside to see if we can attract any more friendlies. Hello, fellow goats of the lobby. Come to our clobber jobber hut. This is actually the most OP strategy. I know. Now, Sonny, I've got to make the clobber jobber tower. I'll see you in space. Yeah, good luck with that. I'm going up on a Tuesday. Well, and the good news is I think we survived all the Jeffs. We did, Sonny. We wrecked those Jeffs. They really didn't stand much of a chance. Let me see if there's any more nearby. Hello? Jeffries? No? I think we're good. I think we intimidated them. They quit. The Jeffs gave up. Let's go. I'm bringing a new recruit, though. Follow me. Follow. I alone stand at the top of the Klaba Jabba. Well played. I have brought another Bryce Ploxa. We are protecting the players of this world. Look at it. A beautiful fortress. Wow. Sonny, you really are making a sanctuary here in Giant Evil Face. I am. I'm just trying to protect the people. This bunker is for the people. Oh, he quit. That guy quit. He saw the bunker and he said, I'll never be that good at Jeff. So he left. He realized it was too beautiful, Sonny. Oh, bro, you are really traveling. Told you, Sonny. I'm going to space. Now, I wonder what happens if I grab a crowbar and peel away one of the blocks at the bottom. Good luck, bro. That is like 18 planks thick. But I wonder if there's physics or if it's like Minecraft and you'll just keep floating. Get off me, Jeff. This is truly the most beautiful fortress I've ever seen, Sonny. It's the only fortress I've ever seen built like that. I won't even cap. I've never seen someone do that. No, there is physics. I just fell. <laughs> Did the whole tower collapse? Yeah, what the heck just happened? Oh, that is awesome. I wish I was there to see it. Dang it. How does that even work? And I also got sent flying. Oh, yeah. He just hit it once with his crowbar. And he took you out? Yeah. Gosh darn it, Nandos. You know what else he should hit once with a crowbar? That subscribe button. Press it now. And stick around for more epic Roblox Jeff. What happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? That's what we're about to find out. In this Roblox video, we're gonna test out multiple ways to destroy cars using realistic physics. And at the end, we'll see what's stronger, a train versus a tank. What experiments should we try next time? Comment your ideas now and subscribe in under two seconds to get goaded. One, two, let's go. We're gonna be trying every single destructor from the compressor to the blender. Uh, Melon, do you mind jumping in there really quick? I want to make a smoothie. Absolutely not, Sonny. The cannon shot. And after that, the minigun. Bro, it's going to be so cool to watch one of your vehicles get turned into Swiss cheese. Yeah, it will be pretty fun, but not as fun as the final section, the train collision. This is where we'll take a tank and see which one wins. Bro, a tank versus a train? That's an immovable object versus an unstoppable force. We're going to have to find out at the end of these tests. But first up... Let's find ourselves a basic vehicle for the compressor. Melon, do you mind if I do the honors here? Yes, you go for it, Sonny. I'm scrolling through my vehiculars, and I would like to use this one. Melon! Melon! Hop in my ice cream truck! I, I don't know where you are, Sonny. I'm right here! Don't you hear the music? Yo, Sonny! Sonny, come back! Oh, my bad. Do you want vanilla, chocolate, strawberry? What flavor you need? Mmm, I'm kind of a mint ice cream kind of dude. All right, well, hop in. I'll get you minty fresh. Fresh inside of the compressor. Uh, Melon, now what? I don't see anything. Hold on. You wait right there. Let me just, uh, investigate something. Yeah. No, no, Sonny. I, I literally don't see anything. I just see void. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, why don't you go investigate and I'll sit here? Okay, but there's nothing. I don't see anything. Are you sure about that? I'm very confused right now. Melon, just stay right there. Don't move. Uh, what's happening? Ah! 
Oh, that was perfect. Some nice squished fresh ice cream with a watermelon on top. Sonny, I don't even know what happened, bro. That was so confusing on my screen. Well, from my screen, it was a perfect crush. Whatever, Sonny. Let's just head into a blender next. And this time, I'll pick the vehicle. All right, I'll meet you over there. You know what I've always wanted to put in a blender, guys? A Zamboni. Haven't you wanted to do that too? Yo, Sonny, check out my whip. What are you even driving? Is that a Zamboni for a hockey rink? Yes, it is. Nice. Well, why don't you enter the blender? <laughs> I'll go to the control room. Let me first activate the conveyor belt for you. Oh, it's okay. You don't have to do that, Sonny. I'll drive in myself. Oh my goodness! Wow. That was spectacular. A watermelon smoothie with fresh ice from the Zamboni. That looks delicious. Sonny, why you gotta be weird about it? I'm simply testing the destroyers. Oh, sorry. I just thought we were making a watermelon frozen smoothie. Anyways, it's time to test out the cannon shot. And this time you're going in, dude. I'm tired of getting hurt. Yeah, that's fair enough. You prepare the conveyor belt, I'll get a vehicle. What would be a perfect car for a cannon shot? Let's see here. Oh, that looks good. A dump truck. I got my dumpy and I'm ready. All right, park it on the conveyor belt for me, please. I'm coming in hot. Cannon shot. Load me up. The cannonball is ready. All right, and it's time to fire you. Bro, you didn't fire me. I just flopped down there. Yeah, because you just drove outside of the cannon. Sonny, why do you suck at your job? Give me a second. The first attempt was only 100 meters. Let me get a fresh dump truck. And honestly, Melon, no, it wasn't my fault. You know what happened? The conveyor belt pushed me. But then you kept driving. Uh, it was just momentum. All right. Are you ready this time, Sonny? Yes, I'm entering the cannon. Fire! Holy smokes, I made it to the end. Yo, I'm not gonna cap. That was pretty awesome. And somehow, I'm able to get up and walk that off. Let's run that back one more time. But I want to see if I can beat your record this time, Sonny. Sure, then choose another vehicular. I need a vehicle with speed. Aerodynamics. Yes, this tractor will do perfect. Uh, Melon, where are you? I'm loading up into the cannon shot, Sonny. Wait for me. I need to fire it for you. I'm kind of lost right now. Go to row four. Okay, I made it. There you go. Throw a little extra ammo in there. And Melon, enter the cannon. Uh, Sonny, same thing happened to me. I gotta retry. Bruh. My other car got launched all the way to the wall, bro. 500 meters. Tell me when you're ready. I'm loading up, Sonny. Sorry, I had some technical difficulties. And I'm ready. Fire! Oh my goodness, I didn't even get anywhere. Bro, you went 300 meters and then your entire tractor exploded. At least I'm alive, Sonny. That's true. And now it's time for us to test out the next experiment. The minigun. Melon, would you like to do the honors or shall I? Uh, we'll do the honors, Sonny, because I want to survive this minigun. So I've got to get something thick. Maybe a dump truck could survive it. Wait, I was already a dump truck. You got an even bigger one? You were a dump truck? It was like a trash can truck. Yeah, I was like the trash collector. That exact same one. Bro, that's what I used in the cannon. Whatever, just get in there. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me get something a little bigger then. Like a mini tank. Bruh. Never mind, Sonny. I can't use it. You're too broke. Instead, I'll use an industrial tractor. Bro, what is up with you and tractors? Did you used to work in construction? I might have. Whatever, just get in the minigun. This thing can't do anything to me, Sonny. Uh, I don't think you want to get so close to it, Melon. That looks a little deadly. Nah, I'll be fine. Fire! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! Yeah, bro. It annihilated you. What the heck? I thought there was enough steel in that thing to repel the bullets, but it wasn't even close. Bro, do you see the size of this minigun? It's bigger than the tractor. Yeah, that's not a minigun. That's just a gun. No, bro. That is the world's largest minigun. That thing is huge. But now, the moment we've all been waiting for. The train collision. What's stronger? A tank or a train? Melon, are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure you're ready to put your life on the line for the fifth time? Yes, I'm positive. All right, well, good luck with that. I'll get to the control room. But first, goats, I'm going to inspect the tracks. Let's see what we're working with here. Oh, yeah, that's a perfect tunnel. It is going to absolutely smush Melon into a pancake. While I wait for Melon and his tank, let me give the train a test run. Launch. Oh, which side is it going to come from? This is going to be so cool. There it is. It even had a cow catcher on the front. Melon is finished. Check it out, guys. I bought this awesome tank. It's the strongest one I could find that would fit. Oh, there's no way this train's gonna beat me. It's time to roll out. Sonny, your train's going down. I could even shoot this tank. Oh my goodness, it's loud. Sonny? Yeah, right, bro. There's no way you could survive the train. Why don't you head on down? 
<laughs> I'll just shoot your train dead. I have a suggestion for you. Aim your tank the other way. Uh, I can't aim it the other way. I can't aim it the other way. Wait, I can't aim it the other way. Shoot! No! Uh, Melon? You good? Uh, you're not gonna believe it, Sonny. But I actually survived! No way. I guess I'll just have to send another train. No, no, no. Sonny! No! Sonny! Don't! Don't! Uh, how are you walking that off? Sonny, I guess the age-old question of what's stronger, a tank or a train, is a melon! A melon is stronger! Dang it, bro. I thought you were gonna get smushed just like that tank. But instead, you became the real unstoppable object. And, uh, and you know what else is unstoppable, Sonny? Our viewers, when they press that like button and subscribe to the channel. Do it now. First, Sonny and I are showing off a variety of houses, from this terrible abandoned $1 house to this $1 million mega mansion. And to show them off, we'll play hide and seek in the mall. Sonny, we're starting off with the $1 house. Do you want to hide first? Nah, bro. Oh, I ain't no brokey. You could go get that $1 house. All right, fine. Just give me my two minutes to hide. Yeah, nah, I don't think so. Because it's a $1 house, you get one minute to hide. Dang it, dang it. I've got to go fast. Give me my... Oh, since I'm broke, I can only really afford a skateboard. This is my trusty ride, and I know where I've got to go. There's only one $1 house on the entire map, and it's right over here. Dang it, this house sucks so much. It's the abandoned house in the middle of nowhere. This is probably the only dollar house on the map. Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to hide here. But actually, wait. Something just occurred to me. I can actually use another one dollar house. Because if I head over to the prop section, I can actually spawn myself in a toy house. Now, I've just gotta find a good spot for this. And, um, I think I'll hide right behind this rock over here. That way, when Sonny goes and checks out the most obvious one dollar house, I'll have a good view on how stupid he is. One dollar house deployed. And and booyah! There's no way Sonny finds me. I'm actually a genius. All right, Sonny, I'm ready. And let's do this. Where would a wee little melon be hiding? In a $1 home. Well, first things first, I'll check the house cameras. Do, 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 Yeah, you couldn't afford any of these plots. I'm trying to get to the old motel. Let's see. Vacant, 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 vacant. Bro, you're not in the motel? You did something sneaky then. Like what? You probably went to one of the broken houses that are already in Brookhaven. I'm gonna get myself a helicopter and scout the world out. Uh, you don't have to do that, Sonny. That's a bad idea. Guys, this is not going how I thought it would go. If he goes in a helicopter, he's definitely gonna spot my house. Now let's crank the speed on this thing and take a look around town. I'm gonna first head over to the broken cabin near the airport. Let's see. Is there a little watermelon in there? No. No, there's no watermelon. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. I'm gonna bust that myth. And time to land the helicopter so I can fly it later. And in the worst house of Brookhaven, this crumbling cabin. You gotta be in this one dollar house. Uh, do I have to answer your question? No, you don't. Good. Because you only have three minutes left. That's fine. I was seeing if you could glitch inside of the fridge. I don't think you can. Anywhere else here you could be hiding? Not really. But there is a creepy note to Madison here. But I don't want to read that right now. It's gonna creep me out. Let's see. Maybe he's outside of the house? On the roof? No. <gasps> you're in a tree. Bro, you're not in these trees. This is the cheapest house on the map. <laughs> well, Sonny, I think my house might actually be cheaper. Whatever. Let me get back in the helicopter and scout it out. And actually, just saw something. Um, it's a little bit weird that there's a random toy house right here on the mountainside. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, Sonny. I don't know. Dang it. Bro, you really thought a toy prop house would be enough? to keep me from finding you. <sighs> I didn't think you'd actually use the helicopter, Sonny. You got lucky this round. Also, it was the hardest round to hide. I literally had a $1 house. Yeah, but there's a bunch of broken homes on this map you could have used. There's only one. Yeah, that's true. But you could have done this. Get yourself a sleeping bag, and you could have gone to the campsite and been like, yep, I live here now. That's not a home, Sonny. Anyways, you're hiding next, which means you have to hide in a $1,000 home. That's gonna be easy, brother. I know the perfect $1,000 home. So I'm out of here. Okay, goats. For my $1,000 home, I actually don't know the hiding spot yet, but I do have a couple of ideas that might work. In 
fact, I do know my hiding spot. The motel. Yes, for a thousand dollars, I could absolutely live in the motel. I just gotta run over this away really fast. And I think I'll take vacant plot number three. But because it's me, Sonny Boy the Goat, I'm gonna kick back, relax, and remove my house. And now I'm just glitched in the motel living here for free. But technically, this would cost a thousand dollars to live here. Anyways, I feel pretty good about my hiding spot. Let me grab a flashlight so I can see. I don't want to be scared back here. There might be ghosts. Hey, Melon, I'm in my hiding spot and it's worth a thousand dollars. Okay, well then it's my time to find you, Sonny. And I'm just gonna reset my character because most homes are in the center of Brookhaven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good luck with that. Now, where would the Sonny be hiding? And a better question is, what's an a thousand dollar house look like? Mm, definitely not these apartments. These are closer to the one hundred thousand dollar range, I would say. Mm -hmm. Is he hiding in prison? I mean, it's kind of like a home if you think about it. Let's see. Nope, he is not in these prison cells. Mm. Maybe the motel? I feel like that's the closest thing to a $1,000 home. Let's just see. Does he own any of these plots? No, vacant, 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 vacant. Dang it, he's not hiding at the motel. Unless he's doing that weird glitch. Yeah, I don't feel like checking right now. Let's see, are there any other $1,000 homes? Oh, I know. He could have spawned in the trailer. That's pretty close to $1,000. I've got to check the house cams. And I got to check all of them. Come on, come on. Oh, he didn't spawn in anything. Well, I guess that just leaves me with the motel. Did he actually do that glitch? Hmm. I guess there's only one way to find out. Time to buy myself a property. Uh, goats? Why did this wall just spawn in? Oh, no. Don't tell me Melon's in the motel! Uh, Sonny? You're definitely in the motel. I just saw your flashlight! Which means all I've gotta do is kick back, delete the house, and now I'm back here. Sonny, where are you? Goats, he's never gonna find me. I'm hiding behind this curtain. Sonny, you know how I know where you are? There's a giant light over here, which means you've gotta be behind this curtain. Uh, false, Melon. Very incorrect. Correct. I'm no longer using my flashlight. <laughs> Dang it. But I saw some movement over here. Are you behind here, perhaps? Dang it. Where are you? I know you're back here somewhere. You have 30 seconds remaining, Melon. Keep scratching that dome. Oh, I found you, Sonny. Dang it! Uh, whatever. You win. Let's go. $1,000 house, Dubberton. Which means, Melon, you get the privilege of hiding in a $100,000 home. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's go! $100,000 home. That gives me a lot of houses that I could use. Let's check out these house plots. Okay, well, I definitely can't use this rocket ship. That's probably closer to a billion dollars. Let's say this house is about 100,000. The construction site's probably 100,000. These houses are a little bit big, though. I'm not gonna cap. Whoa. This tree house looks awesome. And I would say that's about $100,000. Let's go. This tree house is awesome. And now, I'm gonna climb up this bad boy. There's gotta be some secret spots up here somewhere, right? Oh, man. I haven't even explored this house before. This is awesome. Go outside over here. Is there a way to get on top of the treehouse? There's gotta be a way to climb all the way up. I just feel it in my bones. Oh, I did it. I actually climbed all the way up. Let's go on the top of this roof right over here. Oh, I fell all the way down. Oopsies. Sorry, one moment. I'm experiencing technical difficulties. I'll be right back. And now it's time. I'm on the top of my treehouse, but I should probably lie down. Boom. This way I'm a little bit more hidden. And on top of that, I could shrink my character. Oh, yeah. I'm liking my hiding spot now. Sonny, I'm ready. Sounds good, broski. And it's time for me to track you down. Good luck. I'll start by checking the house cams. And, Melon, I found your house. You have a giant tree house, bro? Hold up. I know what to do with this. I'll simply cut it down. Sonny, that's not how Brookhaven works. Nah, that's what you think, bro. But today, the rules have changed. <laughs> Here's Johnny! Chop! 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 Yeah, it's not working. I mean, tried to warn you. Whatever. I know you're hiding in this plot somewhere. I've just got to locate your position, which could be in one of these bushes. Oh, actually, you can't glitch in these. Never mind. Maybe the tree! Nope. This tiny little shed. Are you under a lawnmower? No, he's not. Bro, where are you? Uh, I wouldn't tell you that, Johnny. That's the whole point of hide and seek. Yeah, you got a point there. You do have a pretty good point there. I'm gonna guess you're in this tree. Nope. Okay. Well, then that leaves me with one option. You're actually upstairs inside of the tree house. Big shock. Mm, yep. Who would have seen that one coming? Now I climb the ladder and ascend into the treetop. 
Where's this watermelon hiding? Behind the TV! No. Upstairs in the bedroom. Inside of the fireplace! Ah, uh, can't go in there. Sonny, you get two minutes left. Bro, is there a secret spot that I don't know about in this level? Uh, no. Maybe. Yes. I don't know. He's in the toilet. No. Is he in the sink? Let it sink in. Let it sink in. He's not even in the sink. Dang it. I am so confusioned. Where are you? You'll never know, Sonny. I'll give you a hint, though. I am hiding outside. Yeah, sure you are. I just need to test something out really quick with a little bit of dynamite. Say goodbye to your safe! Rob him! Oh, he's not in there. Yeah, Sonny, I wasn't lying. I am outside right now. Huh. Wait a second. The doors here were open. There's a security cam looking right at me. Are you on the roof? You are on the roof! I see you in a little tree! Uh, it's impossible, Sonny. Unless you get up here yourself, it doesn't count. That's fine. I can do this. I just gotta get bigger. Make the jump. And, uh, I'm officially... Wait, where'd you go? You were here a second ago. Uh, guys, I just fell all the way down. I'm not gonna complain, though. I'll just hide right here. Dude, I saw you. Where did you just disappear to? You can't even get in this tree. Unless you sleeping bag, maybe. Ten seconds left, Sonny. Not good. He has to be here somewhere. I'm celebrating my victory right now. Five, four, three, two, one. I see you back there. You're such a cheat. Well, Sonny, it doesn't matter, because this cheat one. Bro, it's hide and seek, and I spotted you twice. Well, you might have spotted me, Sonny, but you didn't get to me, so it doesn't count. Whatever. I'll let it slide, because in the next round, I'm unlocking a one million dollar house, so I have nothing to fear. Yeah, good luck, Sonny. You got two minutes to hide. In goats, two minutes is ample time, because I shall acquire a beautiful lake house. Yes, it's going to be fantastic. Now, as a millionaire, I would really quite fancy having a maximum security home in the middle of a lake. Beautiful. And now let me make it the best color in the world. Excellent. And after that, it's time for me to get my outfit on, because I'm rich. Excellent. I look marvelous. I think it's quite clear that I'm a millionaire now. So I shall go inside of my security base, close the gate so nobody can breach, and it's time for me to hide. Let's see here. The ultimate hiding spot for a rich man swag ski like myself. Honestly, I kind of want to cheese this. Maybe I'll just go in a tree like Melon. Because it's a money tree! Heck yeah! Let me get real small. Perfect. And then I become one with the tree. It is a money tree. Nothing sus about this at all. Maybe my outfit is too big. It's gonna give me away. Or maybe it'll distract him. With that much cash, he won't be able to look inside of the tree. Brilliant! Absolutely brilliant! And then I can spy on him with the cams. Melon, I'm ready! Alright, Sonny. I'm coming out of this jacuzzi real quick and coming to find you. Just, uh, I'm a little bit too short to get over this fence. Dang it! Whatever. I guess I don't need to get over the fence. I'm just gonna check the house cams and find you. Yeah, good luck with that one. Dude, I already found your house. Bro, you have a security laser base? That's so silly. No, it's so rich. You think this is gonna keep me out, you rich boy? I'm just gonna merely hop over the fence. That's fine. Do what you gotta do out here. Hold on, I gotta grow up a little bit. And there we go. I'm full-sized. And then I just need a ladder to get over this. Boom! Your lasers can't keep the mess. Out. And you also left your doors unlocked, you idiot. Whatever, bro. Just make sure you check the bunk beds. I'm checking everything, Sonny. Don't you worry. He's not gonna find me, goats. There's literally no chance. This base is pretty big. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm up here right now. Is there any secret spots? I don't think so. Do not touch my helicopter pad. What helicopter pad? Oh, wow. There's actually a helicopter pad up here. It would be pretty smart if you hid under that thing, but I guess I would have found you if you did that. <laughs> because the melon's even smarter. Whatever, bro. All right, you're not in your turret either. So let me check all the way in the basement. I remember this place being pretty confusing with the vents and stuff. Yes, maximum confusion. You'll never find me. Before I check the vents, let me check back in the security area. Because I know there's a secret spot here. Nah, I'm not seeing you. I should probably whip out a flashlight so I can see better. Sonny, I know you're here somewhere. And when I find you, I'm gonna catch you in 4K. That's fine. I hope you find me. But after the timer runs out. Ugh. Also, why am I not using my question? Sonny, first question. You inside or outside? I'm outside. Oh my goodness, I'm wasting all my time with these vents. Let's go. I got this in the bag. You really, really don't. Now that I know you're outside, I'm gonna track you down quite quickly. 
Yeah, and you're gonna need to because you have two minutes left. Two minutes is plenty of time. Now, let's see. There's a lot of trees. It would be pretty cringe if you were doing trees after I did trees. Would you be in these turrets? Oh, you could be glitched in these turrets. Dang it. Oh, I thought I found you right here. That would have been crazy. But you're not here either. Sonny, you're on your property, right? That's my second question. Yes, I'm on the property. Goats, it actually worked. He just jumped straight through the money tree. Now, this is where I would hide if I were you. This is a nice looking bush. But you're not even in here. Dang it. Heck, where are you? I don't understand. You're not supposed to understand. You're supposed to lose. I'm supposed to win, Sonny. That's how this game works. Probably have to go check the turrets at the top. It's the one place I haven't checked yet. Just jump on this ladder. Ugh. Sonny, why is getting to your roof so annoying? Because it's a very rich million dollar house. So naturally, I don't want break-ins. You're so annoying, Sonny. Whatever, I'll parkour on your satellite. And, and I found you. I know you're definitely in this turret. Goats, he is so dumb. I placed down two of these giant laser lights and he hasn't noticed. Dude, you're not even in the turret. Where the... What the heck is that? Where did these laser lights come from? It's part of the house, bro. It's called maximum security. Sonny, I'm pretty sure you just gave away your hiding spot. Are you in this tree, bro? No. I literally found you. I see you right now. No, sir. You found Sir Ducamus Maximus Sonny. Wow, Sonny. You really are rich. Yes, I know. I have a great level of affluence. So if you just kiss my little feet, I'll consider this even. Nah, I'm good, Sonny. Because even though you're rich, you still lost the hide and seek. And I won! Dang it! He figured out my plans. Whatever, it's fine, bro. I still got a million dollar house. And you goats can have a million dollars too by pressing that subscribe button. We are not giving you a million dollars if you press the subscribe button. Just letting you know. Yeah, I was gonna ask, what does a million dollars and the subscribe button have to do with each other? I don't know, there's just a chance. Nah, bro. They're both awesome. So press that sub button right now to help us out.